Hey everyone, I'm Diane. Welcome to the Rolling Artisan channel. This is where I'm sharing my journey of how I turn my dreams of becoming a full-time nomad into reality. So if you're interested in how to convert a bus into a house or what it's like to live as an artist full-time on the road traveling Australia, then stick around and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. But today I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what I'm planning for the inside of the bus and what I'm thinking in terms of the layout. Um, and the design of the build. Hey guys, so for the last couple of days I've been mucking around here inside the bus with um, ideas for my layout, how I'm going to arrange the furniture and actually build the inside of the bus. I've just brought in like some camping furniture and random bits and pieces that I had um, at home to sort of um, pose as mock furniture and walls and things just so I can get an idea in 3D what the space is actually like and whether you know the the space that you have for walkways and that kind of thing is actually enough in real life. This will give you an idea of roughly how I plan to fit out my bus. So come on I'll show you. Okay, so at the moment I'm standing in the stairwell of the bus, obviously facing the driver's area. So coming up the stairs, um, the first bit of the bus I've got my um, little camp stretcher there that's going to be like my sofa bed so it'll serve as a bed that I sleep in but also um, I can use it as a sofa during the day and then opposite that I'm going to have um, just sort of a general open area so there's enough space here on the floor for me to do my yoga in the mornings um, I might have a little some sort of fold out table that comes out from the wall so that when I'm not um, needing the table it can be folded back out of the way um, I'm thinking about keeping the, these are the original um, bus seats, so I'm thinking about keeping this one in at least and putting it in this position so that, you know, if, if I ever need to take passengers, um, I can. Um, and they can also serve as sort of extra lounge chairs if I'm entertaining guests. So this front area is going to be like a little open plan living space. And then coming back a little bit further, this will be the kitchen area. So on this side, I'm going to have kitchen bench with um, a little sink. This one was actually in the bus when I bought it. Um, and it's in pretty good nick. So I think I'll probably keep this one. And then just to uh, the right of that, I'm thinking I'll probably put some sort of um, pantry cupboard or uh, storage um, cupboard in there. And then on the opposite side, I'll have another kitchen bench, um, which will actually go all the way, you know, as far as I can to the back of these seats. Um, so a little kitchen bench here, and this will be my stove area. Uh, and then there'll be sort of open bench space that I can use for working on. And then underneath the benches in the kitchen will be drawers for um, storage. And now this, <laughs> this really fancy bit of um, scrap laminate is serving as my fridge at the moment so that'll be like the this wall of the fridge um, so the fridge will be sort of in here and then on the opposite side here coming through the hallway this will be my bathroom area so I'm planning to have um, a shower here in this space and then on the opposite side um, will be my toilet. I'm planning to get a nature's head composting toilet there and then I'm hoping in the middle here I'll have enough space on that wall um, to put a little hand basin. So th this will be the bathroom area and the plan would be that there wouldn't be any windows here. They will all be um, sheeted in and I'm hoping that I can get in this area here above the shower and the ceiling. I'm hoping that um, there's no obstructions there on the roof for me to be able to put an exhaust um, fan or, or as long as it's you know somewhere in the vicinity of this little bathroom area. So coming back into the hallway on the opposite side of the bathroom um, this side of the fridge I'm planning to have um, mostly storage space so I haven't yet decided if it'll be all uh, full height storage so you know I'll have some hanging space there for my clothes and then perhaps some more um, shelves here or I might even leave a little bit of extra bench space there for my um, as a little office space. So then at the back of the bus basically this whole back section here will be my studio area so ignore the <laughs> the other bus seats and 
um, mattress that I haven't got out of the bus yet, but obviously they won't be there. But this whole um, area here will be a big U shape um, of bench space with storage underneath and possibly um, some storage built in uh, above the benches as well. So this bench here will be fairly deep because I need space to put my big guillotine and my cutting mat um, on this bench. And then I've got space all the way around here for things like my book press and my binding machine. Um, and this area here will be um, like a table for my sewing machine and computer. So I'll be there'll be space under there for my feet to go and that'll be like a little um, sewing table desk space there. So that's the basic plan that I'm thinking of at the moment. Um, obviously the studio space that I'm planning in the bus here is a lot smaller than my current studio. So I'm a little bit nervous about whether I can actually fit all my stuff in here. Um, but you know, I've been wanting to downsize for a long time and I have a whole bunch of stuff in my studio that I haven't used for years. And so this is a good excuse to really, you know, cut down on the things that I'm probably never going to use and, um, just stick to the bare essentials and the things I, you know, I use every day. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm confident that I can, um, adapt things and, and, um, you know, fit it all in up here. So <laughs> stay tuned. We'll see if that's actually the case.